Are you constantly feeling tired, weak, or struggling with brain fog? Well, if so, all these symptoms could point to a serious vitamin or mineral deficiency. But here's the catch. Are you low on iron, or is it B12? Well, believe it or not, the symptoms of these two deficiencies are surprisingly similar, and a lot of people assume they just need more iron when they are exhausted. But what if that's not the problem? You see, taking the wrong supplement won't just fail to fix the problem, it can actually make your symptoms even worse. In this video, I will break down the key differences between iron deficiency and B12 deficiency, so you can spot the signs and symptoms, understand the causes, and know exactly what to do next. Because if you don't address the right problem, you won't get the results you are looking for, no matter how many supplements you take. Welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time here, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Before we get into detail, first, let's talk about what iron and vitamin B12 actually do in your body, because they play very different roles. Iron is a key part of hemoglobin, the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen throughout your body. Without enough iron, your cells don't get enough oxygen, which leads to fatigue, weakness, and pale skin. This is why people with low iron often feel sluggish and out of breath, even with simple activities. Vitamin B12, on the other hand, is essential for your nerve function, DNA synthesis, and red blood cell production. It helps build and maintain the protective coating around your nerves and plays a huge role in brain function. When you are low on B12, it can lead to memory issues, brain fog, and even long-term nerve damage in severe cases. So while both iron and B12 deficiencies can cause fatigue, the way they affect your body is very different. One affects oxygen flow, the other affects your nerves and brain function. Now let's talk about how you can recognize the symptoms, because this is where things can get a little tricky. You see, iron and vitamin B12 deficiencies share some common symptoms, like fatigue, dizziness, and shortness of breath. But if we dig a little deeper, we start to see clear differences. If you are iron deficient, you may notice pale skin, especially in your eyelids, lips, and nails, since iron is what gives blood its red color. You may also experience shortness of breath even when doing light activity, dizziness, or feeling cold all the time, especially in your hands and feet due to poor circulation. A more surprising symptom is unusual cravings, like ice, dirt, or starch. This is called pica, and it's actually a telltale sign of iron deficiency. Brittle nails, hair loss, and overall weakness are also common. Now, vitamin B12 deficiency can look similar at first, but it also comes with some unique symptoms. Just like iron deficiency, B12 deficiency can cause extreme fatigue and weakness. But the key difference, vitamin B12 plays a major role in nerve function. That's why one of the most common signs of a deficiency is tingling or numbness in your hands and feet. If you frequently get that pins and needles sensation, especially if it lasts longer than usual, low B12 could be the reason. Another key difference, vitamin B12 deficiency often affects your brain, leading to brain fog, poor concentration, and even memory issues. Many people with low vitamin B12 describe feeling mentally slow or forgetful, and in severe cases, it can even mimic dementia. Your mouth can also give you some clues, such as a swollen red tongue, known as glossitis, and small cracks in the corners of your mouth. And because vitamin B12 is involved in neurotransmitter function, a deficiency can lead to mood swings, anxiety, or even depression. So if you are feeling tired and you have nerve-related symptoms like tingling or balance issues, B12 is more likely the problem. But if your fatigue comes with pale skin, shortness of breath, or cravings, iron deficiency might be the culprit. Either way, if you are experiencing any of these symptoms, it's always a good idea to check in with your doctor and get your levels tested. The right diagnosis is the first step to feeling better. So why are these deficiencies so common? Well, here's the thing. Understanding why you are deficient is just as important as recognizing the symptoms. Because if you don't fix the root cause, you will keep dealing with the same problem over and over. In fact, a lot of people assume they are getting enough iron or B12 from their diet, but that's not always the case. So what causes these deficiencies? Well, for iron, one of the biggest causes is blood loss, especially for women with heavy periods, but also from ulcers, surgery, or internal bleeding. Poor diet is another factor, especially if you are not eating enough red meat or leafy greens. Absorption problems due to gut issues like celiac disease or Crohn's disease can also prevent your body from getting enough iron. Pregnancy is another big one, since growing a baby significantly increases iron needs, 
Now, for B12, the main issue is usually poor intake or poor absorption. If you're vegan or vegetarian, you're at high risk, since B12 is primarily found in animal products. But even if you eat meat, absorption issues are common. Conditions like gastritis, Crohn's, or pernicious anemia can prevent the stomach from properly absorbing B12. Certain medications like proton pump inhibitors or PPIs for acid reflux and metformin for diabetes can also block vitamin B12 absorption. And as we age, our stomach acid levels naturally decrease, making it harder to absorb B12. So if you're feeling exhausted all the time, it might not just be stress. Your body could actually be running low on these essential nutrients. So how can you fix these deficiencies naturally? Well, let's start with iron. The best sources of iron come from heme iron, which is found in red meat, liver, shellfish, and eggs. If you're vegetarian, non-heme iron sources include spinach, lentils, pumpkin seeds, and tofu. If you need a supplement, look for ferrous sulfate or ferrous bisglycinate. But here's the key. Always take it with vitamin C rich foods, like bell peppers, strawberries, or a glass of fresh squeezed orange juice to improve absorption. But here's something to keep in mind. Avoid taking it with coffee, tea, or calcium as they block iron absorption. And do not just take iron supplements blindly. Too much iron can be toxic. So get your ferritin and hemoglobin levels tested first. Now, what about vitamin B12 deficiency? Well, the best sources are animal-based foods like grass-fed beef liver, salmon, eggs, and dairy. If you follow a plant-based diet, Fortified foods like nutritional yeast can help, but in many cases, a supplement is necessary. And if you are taking a vitamin B12 supplement, go for sublingual or under the tongue methylcobalamin instead of cyanocobalamin. It's better absorbed by the body. One more thing, if you have digestive problems or take acid reducers medications, your body may struggle to absorb B12 from food, making supplementation even more important. Bottom line, with the right foods and smart supplementation, you will not only correct deficiencies, but also feel stronger, more energized, and at your best. But before we wrap up, let's address some common mistakes people make when it comes to fatigue and nutrient deficiencies. One of the biggest misconceptions is assuming that all fatigue comes from iron deficiency. In reality, it could be vitamin B12, or something else entirely. Another big mistake is taking iron supplements without testing first, which can lead to iron overload and serious health risks. Plus, many people also ignore the early signs of B12 deficiency because they assume their memory issues or tingling sensations are just part of aging. And if you are on a plant-based diet, you may think you are getting enough vitamin B12 from plant-based sources. But the reality is, plant foods do not contain true B12. If you suspect a deficiency, the best thing you can do is get tested before jumping to conclusions. A doctor can check your ferritin and hemoglobin levels for iron and your B12 levels, methylmalonic acid, and homocysteine levels to give you a clearer picture of what's really going on. So now you know the difference between iron and vitamin B12 deficiency. Iron is all about blood and oxygen transport, while vitamin B12 is crucial for nerve and brain health. If you have been feeling off, do not just guess. Get tested and find the right solution. And there you have it. Remember, knowledge is power and you have the power to make informed choices for your health. Thank you for watching.